I was raised in a loving Christian home. I always believed in, in God. Uh, my parents taught me uh, about Jesus, and it wasn't always the direction I took in my life. Went to college, getting good grades. I was um, starting on the football team. You know, things were, things were going pretty easy, but you know, the things in, that I was doing were contrary to the way I was raised. You know, as I began to suppress those feelings, uh, to make it easier for me to live my life that way. You know, God just began to, to work on me, no matter, you know, how, how far I um, ran from Him, He stayed close and He continued to pursue me. There was a time um, when I'd moved back home, turning onto Meridian Road off of Lake Hazel, and the thought crossed my mind, if I got hit by a car that day, you know, where would where would my soul end up? You know, I think it was that reality that hit me that I was living for myself. I was living for the things that I ultimately wanted in my life. I was trying to choose my path and not allowing uh, God to take direction. I specifically remember one afternoon at work, um, bowing my head and praying to God, and God answered my prayer instantly in only a way that he could. And, you know, it was like, to me, God heard my prayer even though I was a sinner. When I truly surrendered my life to Jesus, my life was changed. I always knew the things that I enjoyed doing before, I no longer had a desire for that anymore. My desire was, was towards the Lord, and those were the things um, that I wanted to surround my life with. You know, shortly after, God blessed me with a wife. Uh, I, I met Bethany at a, at a uh, church gathering and just knew from the moment uh, that, that we met that God had chosen her for me. So I remember the night uh, my daughter was born. There were some complications and, you know, she was, she was rushed uh, to the ER sitting there uh, in a, a state of confusion and just, uh, you know, you never had anticipated in that moment that this was going to be uh, part of my story. Uh, this was not a thought that had crossed our, our minds at all. Um, I remember when the doctors came into the room and told me they were sorry, uh, that there was, wasn't anything they could, could do, um, but she was gone. Um, you know, the thoughts are going through your mind like, God, why does this happen? Um, you know, and then, you know, I started thinking about my wife and, and the devastation that she was going through and, you know, you just start to wonder like, man, how am I gonna pick up the pieces? You know, this life that we'd envisioned uh, was never gonna be the same again. Life was a struggle, you know, right off, right off the bat. You know, there was, there was times of, of uh, you know, hurt. There was times of, of sorrow uh, together with my wife. But, you know, the great thing that God was doing for us at that time was he was given given us strength um, when the other was weak. We were, you know, leaning on him in a time when, you know, no one could say anything to comfort us. You know, we could only um, we could only turn to to God and the peace that He brings uh, through His Son. Um, you know, it's 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 something that you can't explain. But in the time, God knew exactly what we needed. So it's been about eight years now. Um, life hasn't been perfect, but you know there's been so much joy and and God's blessed us in so many ways. Uh, my marriage has been stronger. Um, God's blessed me with uh, two beautiful children. I've learned that God is not the author of pain in my life but he is the author of my life and I can trust him with it.